Hey everybody, welcome back to Shaleen Media Productions and as you guys remember from last week I had bought these new traps and they're kind of uh, rusty and uh, got some weird black coating on them so we're gonna go ahead and try to take that off with the vinegar we're gonna use just regular cleaning vinegar and so we're gonna put that in the solution and we are gonna watch these guys and see how they clean up if they clean up at all so I'm gonna give you a close-up of what they look like before and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put them in the vinegar and hopefully in the next few days they'll be good to go Alright guys, so I just went ahead and bought two gallons of vinegar. Um, I don't know if you guys have been out shopping or anything, but vinegar is kind of hard to come by, so I had to buy them in the quarts instead of the gallons. So I had to buy four jugs total to make two gallons. So um, that's all I could get. So hopefully two gallons will be enough to cover the traps. And I've also got my five gallon bucket, and we're just going to pour that vinegar in there and uh, put the traps in there and see how they do. So stay tuned. Alright, so there's my bucket. It doesn't look very clean, but I just rinsed it out and it's uh, it's not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and start putting the vinegar in there. And all we're using is vinegar, so we're not going to be using anything else. No water or nothing. I know some people like to add water, but this will work just fine for what we need it for. And uh, I'm using white vinegar, but I don't think it really matters if you use apple cider or white vinegar. I think it's all just about the same. At least from what I've researched. And here's the last jug. So hopefully we can fit all these uh, traps in here. We'll see. We'll start with the two bigger ones. We'll put them in there and see if they can get totally submerged. Okay, perfect. Alright, so actually it's going to fit out pretty well, and um, so we're just going to let that sit for a day, and we're going to check right back in, and we're going to see if anything has happened. Um, hopefully some of this rust is taken off, and um, you can already kind of see it start to bubble. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it starting to bubble, and uh, so that's a good sign. So we will check back in, and we'll see if it done it has done anything. So thank you guys, and stay tuned. We'll see you soon. All right, everybody, it's been exactly 24 hours. And uh, now, as you can tell, that the, uh, the white vinegar is just black. You can't even hardly see it down into the bucket. So we're going to pull one of these traps out and see if it's helped any. Looks like it's helped some. But... All right, so here's the first trap. You can see all this black stuff is coming off of my fingers. So what I'm thinking is I may need to take a wire brush because if I rub on this a little bit it starts to take all that stuff off of there and turns my hands black. So this is definitely doing its job which is what I wanted. Definitely working really well. So I think I'm going to keep soaking this. Soaking all these traps and uh, 
check them back again tomorrow and we'll see what else has happened and I'm probably try to bring my wire brush and clean these dudes up but they are starting to look good I'm pretty happy with uh, what's going on now be make it a lot easier for me to get all this stuff off of here um, but I mean it's just crazy because you know you wouldn't think that white vinegar would take all the stuff off but it does a really good job so check back in tomorrow and uh, we're gonna continue and see what else has happened with these traps so thanks for sticking along and we will see you tomorrow all right everybody welcome back and by now it has been a full three days since I have put these in here and um, you can tell that it's really doing a number on this stuff here really cleaning it off great there's not as much black stuff now as there was so that's awesome and so I actually have the power washer out here we're gonna power wash these off and see how clean it goes it gets and if not then I may have to take the wire brush to it but hopefully it's loose enough by now that it will go ahead and come off so let me turn on the water fire up the power washer and we will see what happens Still got a little bit of work to do on it, but it is nice and shiny. You guys can see that all right. I mean, it is really shiny. That took all of that gunk and junk off. Still got some on the bottom side here. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of them. But you can actually read what it says now on the pan. You couldn't read, you couldn't read it originally. It's kind of wet, so it's kind of hard to see, but Oneida Jump. 14. That's really awesome. And I don't know exactly. It says made in the USA on the bottom. And then I'm not exactly sure. So I, th I think it's a manufacturing uh, place. But I am really excited about this. Got this cleaned up really nice. I'm going to have to take the wire brush to it, but that's all right. That took most of that gunk off. And now I can work on um, preserving these guys back without any. Uh, without them getting nasty or anything now since I'm just going to be displaying them. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this on all of the next ones, but I don't think you guys have to stick around and watch me do that the whole time. So hopefully this has helped you guys, and thank you for sticking along with me. Remember, um, that white vinegar is going to do the trick for you. I had my doubts, but uh, it is super stout on almost anything. I don't even know what was on these, these traps, but that uh, white vinegar really took care of it and I couldn't be more happy so if you guys um, have any questions or comments just shoot me a message on here and just let me know what you think and hey I'll put a picture uh, or a video of the completed traps whenever I get them done here in a few minutes so <clears throat> excuse me so thank you guys so much don't forget to hit that subscribe button the like button and uh, go ahead and follow us on Facebook and Instagram we appreciate each and every one of you, and hey, we will catch you on the next one in two weeks. So thank you guys for sticking along. We'll see you soon.